Guys, I bought a house. I'm gonna throw up, I'm so nervous. We bought a house, we bought a house, we bought a house, we bought a house. This is my dock. This is my pond. You happy, bud? <laughs> If you follow me on my other platforms, you'll know I bought a house. I wanted to make a whole video kind of documenting the process of buying it because it's such a special time. It's my first house ever. I filmed little clips here and there of us like touring the house and when we sent the papers and everything. And I just think it's such a fun thing to have and to keep. I'll also be showing like the little house tour when we first bought it. We've already done so much. Like these walls were not white before. The popcorn ceilings are scraped off of this room. Hoping you guys want to follow along with the whole process because it's going to be interesting. I have a lot of faith in myself and I spend a lot of time on Pinterest. Now back to the beginning of it all. Well, basically our lease on our apartment is coming up actually in two days and so we were basically talking of what do we want to do do we want to stay in our apartment do we want to rent another place in a different area or is there any way we can buy a house because obviously that is always the dream and always the goal however typically not on the table in an ideal world I really 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 want to live in the Keys fortunately that is a very expensive place to live I also love living on the east coast of Florida though because unlike the Keys there's just beautiful beaches the water right on the beach is so clear and blue so it's been really really nice to have both so I kind of had to come to the conclusion of I will hopefully one day live in the Keys. That is the dream, that is the goal, but I don't need to have it now. We started looking at houses and by we, I mean Austin. We have pretty different viewpoints of what we wanted in a house. Austin just wanted a lot of space, a lot of land, which I'm not opposed to that. I, the only thing I care about is being by the ocean and an ocean filled with wildlife. Typically land and ocean do not go together in Florida. Austin found a really nice area that is pretty close to the beach, but has a bunch of houses that have a lot a lot of land so the house we bought is on an acre and a half which is so incredible so amazing it's got a little pond you guys will see so since we like this whole area Austin found a couple houses and we went to go look at them I'm gonna throw up I'm so nervous we are currently about to pull up to our first ever what do you call it how showing. showing I don't know we've never looked at a house before we're looking at two today with the same realtor oh my gosh I can't believe it. I've been thinking about, so in August, which is about like half a month away, will be our 10 year anniversary. And I think it's so wild that 10 years ago we were just like kids in high school and now we're looking at a house. How are you feeling? Stressed. We're just starting this whole process though. So we're trying not to get too attached to the things we're seeing. Really like this one so we'll see it is day two of looking at houses and we are meeting back up with the realtor that we were at last time in the same area we really like and we're checking out two more houses last time i gave no other update besides the fact that we were going to do it <laughs> um but we really liked one of the houses the other one we didn't really like and i'm hopeful about one of the houses today the other one austin likes i hate it so we'll see yeah. and we get a side or something yeah. Yeah. One has a little lake that you share with just a neighbor. After looking at a few houses, we kept going back to the very first one we saw. There's just something so special about them. All the houses here aren't the biggest, they're not the newest, they're not like the most amazing house ever. But what blew me away about this place was that the land was just so beautiful. I could just picture like having kids and them having like the most amazing childhood and I knew Hurley would love it and I could just picture like wanting to spend all my time outside which is everything to me. And then of course on top of the fact that it is in one of the most beautiful beach town areas in Florida. So it was really just like the perfect mesh of both of our needs. And I'm now 26, just barely turned 26. I cannot believe that, but I still feel like I'm 15. So we're kind of sitting there being like, well, what do we do next? We like it. Can we put an offer? What does that entail? What does that mean? And so basically we submitted our offer. And then two days later we found out, I thought somebody was going to call us. It was going to be like this dramatic thing. No, we just got a text. And Austin turned to me and he goes, we got it. And it was like the most anticlimactic and I felt sick to my stomach because it felt like this big thing that I was signing on to do. We are actually at a turtle release. And so I kind of sat in silence as we watched it for the rest of the time, kind of in disbelief. And then when we got home, it like completely hit me. We bought a house, we bought a house, we bought a house, we bought a house, we bought a house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. You don't, Moss, you don't. I bought a house. We bought a house! For a second. 
second, Austin told me on the beach, and I've always seen these videos where like the realtor will call you, and so I've been waiting for a call all day long, and then he just got a text, and so he looks at me and he's like, we got it. And so then I was in shock. I've been in shock for about an hour now, but it's hit me. The baby house is getting a backyard! I believe it, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, and the best part. It's our 10 year anniversary this year, so it's kind of like iconic that 10 years in to our relationship, we're reaching like this crazy benchmark of buying a house. Also, in the exact same year, we bought a boat and I guess technically we bought it in 2023, but it was like two days before 2023. A boat and a house! It's kind of crazy. We are finally going back to the house since the first time we ever saw it. Now we have our offer accepted. Inspections have been done. We have less than a month till it closes. And we haven't seen it since, so I'm really excited. We're basically going because they're, the realtor is letting someone in and we just wanted to go measure some things. Are you excited? I'm Jack. Pretty big. The cost? I've seen direct sunlight. Today's the day that we're buying a house! We're currently going inside to, what's it called? Close. To close. <laughs> Signing all the papers. We literally just drove up from the Keys. Drove all the way a couple hours north to sign, and then we have to go all the way back down down and down and down to Key West. So, fun, That's exciting nice. day. What are we doing here? We're in a fancy room. So I need to go for part. <laughs> we officially did it, we bought it. We just opened the gate to come inside to our own home. There's my pond over there. You can't see, but I'm just, I'm admiring everything that I own. So exciting. Very, very exciting. So they messed up how to give us a key. So someone's running over here to open it up so we can get a key. No, where's the lockbox now? It'll be fine. How? <laughs> I'm just so excited walking around. Like it does not feel real at all. Like this whole pond is mine. This is all completely just mine. Like I can just hang out here because I own it. I obviously need to give you guys like a full house tour. So let's start with, this is my dock. This is my pond. Backyards over there, house is over here. It's such an insanely pretty property. We're still waiting for the keys. So give me two seconds and then I'll show you inside the house. We have the whole pond. And then my second favorite thing was this plumeria tree. I've always dreamed of having one. And when I saw it here, I just knew that this house had to be mine. Guys, this is also very me. Look at this little piece of coral that's just sitting here. I love that. We finally got the keys. And here is our home. My favorite thing is like the views of the pond here. It's gonna need a lot of work, a lot of renovating. The corgis thing is that there's a bunch of cat doors. <laughs> We have the kitchen over here that goes out into the garage. I also love this whole little patio area. We can sit outside. And then we have two bedrooms and a bath over here. Really nothing like too spectacular to look at. <laughs> gonna be so fun to just like make this our own. I have so many fun projects. And again, look how cute this little view is. First project is to replace the cat doors. Coming out the back here, we have this whole screened in little patio. My dream is to have like little bar stools and then you can sit outside and this goes to the kitchen right there. And then we also have a whole deck that goes to a very, very large backyard. There are so many butterflies flying around. And here is the big, beautiful backyard. I can't wait for Hurley to see this. We even have a mango tree. Just look at all this space to explore. It's never ending. We even have this little lizard friend that's been hanging out the whole time we've been there. Look how cute. It's like that was made for you. And of course, straight into the water. You happy, bud? <laughs> the question is, are we ever going to get him out of here? Really? You want this? 
Ready? Couch delivery is gonna be here in like 15, 20 minutes. So real quick, I'm just gonna screw off this really weird thing that's just like in the middle of the window because one of the couches I think is gonna go there. Problem. Here are the couches. Okay, looks kind of good from this angle. That one looks really cute. However, you walk over here. This is a pretty small space to walk through, but even this is just so bad. And you just walk into the front door. Ow. There's just no room at all. It looks awful. The couches themselves, so comfy, so pretty, so nice. Like I could just live on these. So I really want to try to find a way to make them work. And this is the other option of what we can do. That's to mimic the coffee table and then we'd mount the TV up there. I definitely feel like this one looks a lot better overall. They are a bit thick to do this, but I really don't know what other options we have other than just having one couch, which I'd prefer not to have just like one little couch. Oh, we closed in the house, we got a couch, we basically had nothing else in it. And we had about like three weeks to a month before we planned on moving in. So basically it's already happened as you can see behind me, but the next video is gonna show the whole moving process. It is a, such a disaster right now. We're gonna move in, we've painted everything. I'll show you all that, like taking off the popcorn ceilings. That was a actual disaster, such a mess. It's so fun just to learn all the new things. There's so many things every single day that I'm like, Wait, I have no idea how to do that. But I'm so excited to share the entire process with you guys. Really, I feel so, so lucky. And without social media and all this, this would not have been possible. If you've been following along, I recently quit my job. And just as soon as I quit it, kind of everything came together. It has been truly such a dream. So I'm just very, very grateful. Thank you guys so much for following along. Mm -hmm.